uh, injuries to start with, please, Jürgen. Joel Matip was back in training yesterday. How it is always now. Um, we have these um, little reactions on the last game, so we need to we need to wait a little bit. We have different players, so but in this moment it looks like, apart from Daniel Sturridge, who is um, a little bit ill or was, um, but even he could could be back. I'm not sure. Um, at yeah, the long term, not more, but Joel Matip oh, is positive. He looks like he is not sure if he's ready for Arsenal, but um, for the games coming up, then pretty sure. That's it, I think. Um, for all the excitement that has been about your attacking so far this season, it's only been, I think, four goals conceded in nine Premier League games now, which is terrific defensively. Magnol Clavo was saying that, that just it's been little changes in there. I mean, how pleased have you been with the way things have, have changed defensively? What, what are those little changes that you've made? It's not really, it's not really a change to be honest. It's not that we said, um, okay, from now we do it differently. Now we, we the, the boys are needed to to be more aware of the different situations, all the players, although not only the defenders, of course. So we need to feel much more responsible in the different moments to avoid different passes, stuff like this. We, we did this very often. We conceded, unfortunately, nine goals in two games. So all the rest was kind of OK. Um, and um, it was only um, something you all were talking about from the first day because we didn't sign a centre half in the summer. I uh, had to learn that. Um, that's enough to have diff defence problems, which <laughs> defensive problems. If you don't sign a player. Um, and so yes, we all we knew we had to do better. We could do better, but it was never an uh, individual problem. Um, yes, it was in a few situations an individual problem, but that's how goals happen. Um, no, no, we, we didn't change a lot. We only made um, the, the boys are now much more aware, and we have to um, diagonal protection stuff like this, of course. But it was always important that it would be a, quite silly if I wouldn't have mentioned that before and waited until we concede the goals and tell or oh, now I can tell you how it works properly. Um, no, no, it's um, we are a team who is um, very offensive orientated but that doesn't mean that you have to give any space away and um, uh, we did the boys did well in different systems which i really like a lot um, because that's the biggest improvement and um, but only because um, they now do the jobs in the, in a moment much more often, but even against um, Bournemouth, which was obviously an impressive performance, um, the, when, when Jermaine Defoe hit the post, it was not that was not good defending. Uh, so it was um, a good pass, but um, this should be defended not by the centre halves you know, earlier or then diagonal protection again um, and and uh, keeping the line for the offside or. If you don't keep the line, if you're a little bit deeper, then you have to react in the, in, in the situation differently. So there are always things to work on. That's how football is. Um, but um, how I said, it's over the whole season, it's absolutely OK. Um, but of course, the numbers are important. And um, only four in the last nine is good. But um, to be honest, it's again the past. So we have to be ready for a different challenge on Friday. It's Arsenal, and they have quite uh, a talented group there, and um, and they can create um, chances as well. And we need to be spot on, but all the players need to be spot on in this specific part of the game. They've been picking up points from very tight games in, in recent weeks, and yet whenever Liverpool and Arsenal play against each other, there always seems to be a lot of goals. Do you think there is something about the styles of play which the two teams have, which, which brings out the best in the attacking football? To, to... Yeah. But... I'm not sure if there are a lot of similarities, to be honest. But it's um, against most of the, against us most of the time. Giroud played, even if he does, didn't play the game before or the game after. Um, that um, from the beginning, um, and and so that that says a little bit about the style of of Arsenal. They, they've chosen against us very often, but that's they are a, a complete um, 
football team. They they are able to do everything. They can switch and change styles. Um, I said against us, it happened quite often that they played a lot of long balls um, with Giroud, but um, he cannot play, and um, that will change a, a few things maybe. But they are able to to create. They are able to play football. They have a strong side. Whoever will play since yesterday, maybe we know a little bit more about the lineup. Um, so that means a lot of good, good footballers uh, on the pitch, and um, that means um, on the one hand side we have to we have to defend them in the best way we can, and on the other hand side, of course, it means um, if there are any sp- any gaps, any spaces we can use, we have to. Um, yeah, it's. I don't know if there will be a lot of goals again, but. Um, um, we go there to to perform. We go there to to get as much as we can, and um, we know that's difficult. But um, in this moment, I feel as well that it's possible, and uh, I think we should try. Um, Alex, obviously, Chamberlain is sure to be mentioned if he's going back to his former club. Of course, I'm not sure whether he's destined to start or not. That's, I'm not sure whether you'll tell us or not. <laughs> but um, what have you seen in him? How he's improved since he's become a Liverpool player? Yeah, maybe that explains a little bit the difference, the different style that, that he had to adapt, of course, but he did well from the first day. But I, say, I know how it is if you are a kind of a big signing, and then everybody expects you immediately on the pitch, and when you're on the pitch, and you have to perform immediately. But it's, it's difficult. Dif- a lot of things are difficult. You, you cannot um, just play a little bit, and you don't know your mates. He, 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 know, he knew a lot of them from the national team, but um, um, it's, it's all different. And, and so I was happy from the first day about his um, involvement, about his um, attitude. Um, and since then, he, he became more and more um, a Liverpool player. That's how it is, I think, um, so far. We were lucky with him. Um, he could be part of all sessions, if you want. So he's really fit. You could see it at Bournemouth. It was not one second when you thought, oh, maybe he's now a little bit tired or something. So he looks really um, in, in, in a really good shape. Uh, played different positions, what he could b- before, but they are not that different. To um, and it's If he plays the wing, for example, or plays an eight, there's, there's a few things are different. But it's in, in general, especially offensively, there's, um, it, it's similar. And... Um, I think the, the biggest improvement um, or the, the biggest potential what he still has is, is really in being involved in goal scoring situations but because he has it in himself it's, it's unbelievable but he was not uh, asked for this too much I think in the past it's a little bit if you watch Arsenal in the, in the, in the past it's the very decisive players were the two decisive players were Sanchez and Özil in a very very um, a lot of moments in the decisive of passes, Özil or Sanchez, and then you are not that much involved. Or Giroud when he's coming up, then when he's coming on the pitch, and so there. And here we we put it on more shoulders, uh, much more shoulders. And um, and if he's on the pitch, he needs to be involved in the be uh, involved in these situations like this as well. And so I'm 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 fine for the moment. It's all good, but I see really a lot of space for improvement as well, and um, that's cool. And you, and you talked about the luck about his injuries, which you maybe didn't have at Arsenal. Is that somewhat or something that you've approached and worked on here, or, or is it partly luck? Or... It's always uh, luck is always involved in this because you can. If not, then we are always responsible for all the injuries. I don't think that's the case because you cannot avoid that. But it's. Um, I don't know exactly. We we we, we did a lot. We do a lot of things differently. I don't say better, but we do it differently. So and, and a player has to adapt to that as well. And um, so far, um, everything everything is good with that. I don't think that he played so far three games in a row or something like that. That that, that helps all the players for sure. Or in the fourth and the fifth game, then that um, makes it more dangerous. And, and that's how it is. Um, but um, no, we just. On a good way, so um, on a good lad. I'm really happy to have him around. He's fantastic in the dressing room, and thank God he's really, really good on the pitch as well. So that makes him a nice package. Yeah. Just really going on what you were saying about Alex, can you tell straight away if a player is going to settle in as soon as they come through the door, or do you, do you look and you think, okay, he just might take a little bit more time here? 
Because when you were talking about Mo Salah, he came in and just said, well, it will appear straight away. But he, was, he, but he came in, no, but he came in the preseason. That's a big difference. He came in the preseason. We don't have, if Alex would have been here in the preseason, that would have been completely different. So for him, it's, but, he, but Alex came in the middle of the season. That's why I don't like these late transfers. So that's how it is. He needs, he, he needs to adapt and in a much more, in a much more busy time. So when you don't have time to talk to one player much more than to all the others because you are already in the middle of the season. So Mo came in and was uh, smooth. It just happened um, in, in, the, in the preview. We went to different camps. The, the boys um, were together all the time. So um, in Hong Kong, more or less like uh, in the jail, we couldn't do too much. Out of, in front of the hotel, I would say, the people were very excited that we were there. And um, so that's, that, that, that helps, of course, um, for the settle in. But it's, um, no, that, that's the biggest difference. There's no difference between Mo and, and, and Ox. If I think Ox needed, would have needed less time. Uh, then more, and he was already quick. James, just going back to what you were saying about the defence and the excellent record of late, does that have an effect on what you might be thinking for, for January in terms of the business you do or you don't do? All what we are doing is, uh, and has influence on what I think. <laughs> That's how it is. And um, but, uh, but. What does that mean? Because we did so well defensively, you don't want us to sign a, a defence player or a defensive player or what? That will never stop her. Until we do it, probably. Or what was the inter well, if, what? If, if, um, your defensive record's been, been good, I think it's Thank you. Chelsea I tell the boys Chelsea. immediately. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry, it was Chelsea when you last can see from open play, so you've done it very well so far uh, in terms of defensive record. So does that change how you approach January? We plan, and I've said everything. Is, what we what we are doing has influence on the, on on our plans. That that's all what I can say about that. That's yes. So it, yes, it has it has influence. But um, I don't know exactly in which way, uh, in which kind. So um, you have to wait a little bit. Eh? So I, I, don't, I don't really. I'm not sure that I get that question 100 percent. But um, yes, I, I was happy. When we win a game, when we defend well, well then, I'm really, then I'm happy about that. If, and then we defend not that good as a team, and I'm not happy about it. But I don't think then the solution is a new player always. It's not like you buy. Now he, I, I'm, not a, I'm still a supporter because I love the game, but I'm not a supporter in this kind of. I cannot change my mind. Now we need it without him. It's like this. People stick to their opinion, and obviously, whatever we would do, we can see the first goal. Um, I think it's really rare that I. Um, or, yeah, that I read, but for example, um, Alberto Moreno did fantastic this season, and he made and then he played at we played at Sevilla, and he did not well. And there were really people didn't hesitate to say, yeah, "That's why we need a new left back." And I think, wow, if people would have said the same about you after a bad game, um, that would have been really funny. So thank God. I or we here make the decisions and nobody else. And so, um, um, yeah, we are quite um, not relaxed, but um, we have a view on everything. And it need, needs to fit together and it needs, everything needs to, to work out at the end. And you need to have solutions for different situations and um, different systems and all that stuff. And um, yeah, so far it's okay. But it could have been better, how we know. Um, but it could have been much worse. And so now we prepare for Arsenal, and um, we have to be, uh, to come back to your point, defensively really, really strong in that game. Otherwise, we don't have a chance. Uh, yeah, you back on, on injuries, you mentioned Sturridge and Matic as Does that mean Moreno's okay? Ah, uh, no. Sorry. Uh, that is always like a long term. Unfortunately, Alberto is still. Um, yeah, not even on the, on the pitch, so he's, um, he needs to. That could still take a few weeks, unfortunately. We did see Adam Lallana come back into action at the weekend. What did you make of his return and how did he get injured? It was aggressive. <laughs> Was it 10 seconds until he had a yellow card or so? I'm not sure. I didn't even see it because the fourth official was in my way, but um, I only saw the card then. Um, yeah, he's, he's back, though. That's good. But yeah, he needs to collect minutes now. We will see how how we manage that. But um, he's not ready for 
three games, 90 minutes in a row, but he's ready to, to help us in, in specific moments and um, hopefully we can, we can build up this, uh, his, his match fitness step by step because that's the only thing he's missing now. And, um, but even in the few minutes when he was on a pitch, it, 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 everybody could see what a player he is. And um, yeah, very good news for all of us that he's back. Sorry. I heard nothing different. Yeah. Okay, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.